uplift careers and everything, so. What's the most a guy should spend on a wedding ring? I definitely want a huge rock, so I'm gonna guess that it, <laughs> it probably cost about at least like, Five hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> Does it cost that much? Like I would, diamonds? I would say maybe like I don't really know, but I would at least hope somebody's spending like thirty thousand to fifty, right? Like is that the amount for a ring? <laughs> like, like, give us no thirty thousand to fifty thousand, eight like. I'm, I'm just asking you what you think. I think yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like twenty to. I think definitely in a 10,000 range, like 10, 10, 30, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, something and above, like for sure, but not 10, I'd say like 30. Okay, so 30,000 is the max he should spend on a ring. The minimum. I mean, I don't know how much rings cost. So I have no, no idea, idea, but I'm definitely still going for it at 500K. I want a big <laughs> ass rock, so I'm guessing it's going to cost like a lot of money. For him spending 500K, what does he get from you? Hopefully I get to be the mother of the kids. I get to live a beautiful dream life, and he supports my career, <laughs> and I support him. For my ring, my cost, I say like fifty thousand. He definitely will have a loving wife, a loving mother of the kids, a supportive person overall, and uplift careers and everything. So, what's the most a guy should spend on a wedding ring? I definitely want a huge rock, so I'm gonna guess that it, it probably costs about at least like. Five hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> Does it cost that much? Like I would, diamonds? I would say maybe like I don't really know, but I would at least hope somebody's spending like thirty thousand to fifty, right? Like is that the amount for a ring? Like, <laughs> like give us no thirty thousand to fifty thousand, eight like. I'm, I'm just asking you what you think. I think yeah. I mean I don't know, like twenty to. I think definitely in a 10,000 range, like 10, 10, 30, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, something and above, like for sure, but not 10, I'd say like 30. Okay, so 30,000 is the max he should spend on a the ring. Minimum. I mean, I don't know how much rings cost. So I have I no idea, it. but I'm definitely still going for it at 500K. I want a big <laughs> ass rock, so I'm guessing it's going to cost like a lot of money. For him spending 500K, what does he get from you? Hopefully I get to be the mother of the kids. I get to live a beautiful dream life, and he supports my career, <laughs> and I support him. For my ring, my cost, I'd say like 50000 He definitely will have a loving wife, a loving mother of the kids, a supportive person overall, and uplift careers and everything, so. Welcome back to the channel, people. If you're new, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And these women, they act like they don't understand money. And let's not have any mistakes about it. This is an act. Because if you want to know how much 500k is, if you want to know how ridiculous that is for a ring, just think about how much money you have in your bank account. Do you have 500k? Do you have 30k? 20k? 50k? If you do, would you spend all of that on a ring? If you are a man, would you spend all of that on a ring? Now, these women are so delusional that they'll probably say, if they were a man, yeah, I'll do it. But they wouldn't. If you're spending 500k on a ring, you best have 100 million in your bank account. Most men today are not traditional any more than women are. We are all modern people and we all live in a modern world. Okay. Most, okay, let's start with the first part, right? Most men today are not traditional any more than women are. Why? It's because women slowly but surely have allowed for men to get away with so many things over the years. And by this, I mean, for example, way back when, when our grandparents and even our parents, you know, started dating, there were certain social rules that men had to follow. The more that women wanted to become more free and the more that society, society, sorry, allowed women to have that freedom, that's when things started declining. For example, in my last video, I said, well, who do men have to choose from? You know, that, that Pearl video, um, all the women were like, yeah, well, I'm not, um, old-fashioned i'm not traditional and yet i'm still married pearl why aren't you because you were the best of the worst let's let's assume let's assume that that non-traditional woman was the best of the worst you know for example everyone says how in the comments oh roxy pearl we support you you know we wish more women had values like you yeah but think about it this way how sad is it that the way that pearl and i think is so mesmerizing to men when back in the day the way Pearl and I think was normal like do you guys understand what I'm trying to say by the way 
I tend to ramble on and on. My words get mixed up all the time. I apologize for that. That's just how my brain works. Um, we are all modern people. We all live in a modern world. Yeah, in the West we do, and look at the disaster that's happening. Men feel like they can't even find a good woman nowadays, and they literally have to choose the best of the worst to be able to find a good wife. Because women have allowed and men have allowed this to happen in society. Because women would not shut up about being independent, having jobs, doing this, doing that, having independence. Women would not shut up about it until men were like, okay, you know what? Take it all. We love you. We do everything for you. And now look at what's happened. I'm not blaming either party. I'm just saying this is just the way that society has gone. And I feel like it would have been best if women were to just have stayed in their place. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I just feel like, yeah, that's just my rant for the day. If it's all over the place, I apologize. But anyways, I hope everyone has a great day. And for those of you who want a traditional woman, honestly, the best thing I have, if you cannot find one in the West, go to Eastern Europe, go find yourselves a loyal, beautiful woman. And, you know, try that. <laughs> try that. Who knows? You never know where you might meet your true love. This is something that a lot of people aren't talking about. There are a lot of men out there who are just settling. And you know men, we don't leave. Men don't leave relationships. So these men, they've settled and they're just miserable. Probably waiting for the wife to leave. Which is why I always say focus on yourself. Get yourself to a point where you have options. Good options. Because you don't want to be in a situation where you're picking the best of a bad bunch. Like this woman said. What kind of man are you looking for? Um... Wait, how old is your daughter? She's nine months. So where's her father? What's going on with you guys? Um, he's in the hospital. So yeah, he's been he's very ill. So I'm looking for like a stepfather. Wait, so you broke up with him while he's in the hospital? No, I no, I didn't break up with him. Were y'all not together when he went to the hospital? Yeah, we we're still together. Wait, okay. I'm looking for like, a, you know, just in case. A stepfather, just in case. Just in case if he passes away? Right. Are you serious? Yes, Kendra, you have to have one in a chamber. Kendra, come on now. Shouldn't you be waiting to see, like, is it not looking good? It's not looking good. Are you a comedian? No, <laughs> no Kendra, I'm not a comedian. I'm so you're serious. serious. This, this is serious. I'm serious. We have, a, we have a type of relationship that's like we're very realistic. My husband is much older than me as well. How old is your husband? Um, he's sixty-five. He'll be sixty-six in a month or less, a little bit less than a month. How old are you? Thirty-two. Well, I hope your husband survives, and I hope he too. And, I, and then I hope he divorces your ass, because I hope he survives and then leaves you. Because any wife of his that's looking for really the guy while he's still him. in the hospital, I'm is a really, really good wife to him, though. You're a really good wife as you're looking for a person while he's still in the hospital bed. This is crazy, but girl, hey, do you? When I watch videos like this, I have to remind myself, you know, this isn't all women. This isn't even. A majority of women this isn't even a large minority of women but women like this are a disgrace this woman is a disgrace but not only that this exposes the dynamics between women because the host at the end she says do you do you uh, yeah no accountability doesn't attempt to hold her accountable and this is the relationship dynamic between women they just let each other get away with bullshit just talking to um, one of my friends earlier today and we were kind of talking about how like girls just don't like it when guys are really nice to them um, or like the good guys aren't ever picked and I figured it out guys I figured it out it's not that girls want um, jerks it's that if you're being a jerk up front we can take you more serious. Like, we're not having to read between the lines. You're already being a butthole. It's more authentic. That's why girls like jerk. We've already got the worst of you. We want to be able to get to the best. If we have the best up front, then what better is there? You know? Yeah. I'm as lost as you are. 
With respect, would you look into the face of a man that has just lost his wife and is really struggling to play the role of the mother and the father and mm. say that to him? Yeah. So you're not a mother. He's the father. That child, well, you might be more sensitive in those circumstances. You still call him He's a father. He's playing the role of the mother because... That was me. I'd be a father. I wouldn't suddenly morph into a mother. Again, with respect, to mother and to father are not gender-specific. They are gender-specific. No, they're not. Why are we pretending the otherwise? skills of course to mother and to father can be acquired. Are you a, are you a woman? Well, yes, I am a woman. So, are you a man? So can okay. I suddenly say, you can I just literally say, I'm a, I'm a I woman? Am a, I am a woman, but I'm also capable of the skills it takes to father a child. Mm. Similarly, you are a man and you are capable of the skills to mother a child. I would mm. hope, I'm not sure though, because nurturing, caring, is that in your capabilities? I brought up four kids I very well, they... but they've always known who their dad is and who their mum is. What's wrong with that? But the skill to mother is something that a man can also okay. do. You Why, can so, so the point is, Sonia, that you can, you can do both of these jobs yeah. within the role of parent. Do right. we have to define mothers and fathers by their gender? Sadly, we do now. If you'd <laughs> have asked me two years ago, I would have probably been on Amy's side, right. actually. But now we've experienced the whole messing around with words and the categories and certainly the taking of female titles. And you have to look at the origin mm. of why that Twitter, that tweet came to be. And that tweet came to be because everybody thinks that they can suddenly put on woman face and be a woman. And it was interesting, very sexist tweet, incidentally, because later on they were advertising for a male writer, not somebody who identifies right. as male, but a male writer. Yeah. So you can suddenly put on a dress and become a woman, but you can't do the same with a man. Mm. And men and fathers and mothers bring completely different skill sets well, exactly. to parenting. And both but genders both are capable vital. of both of those things. Yeah. If I Here's the problem. A man can't, for example, breastfeed his... Kids, right? This is irrelevant. The biology well, of that type not, of thing is not because he can pretend to be a mother all he likes, but he can't breastfeed. Uh, a mother, hey, sorry, so it's like you know, it, yeah. there are limitations to motherhood. Motherhood for men. isn't breastfeeding. No, but hang on a moment. It's it's part is, of it, it can mother. be. Is it? Is it intrinsically part of it? Is it having a womb be. motherhood? Would you say to a woman that can't breastfeed that they're not a mother? No. no. Would you say that? But no. I'm just your... saying it's one of the many things that actually only a woman can do. And it's really important we acknowledge it as well because that's not mothering. We only have to look. That's not mothering. Mothers are women. I hate to break it to you. Okay, I know we're not allowed to say this anymore, but it's an insult to every damn mother in you're this country. But some of these blokes who come along and go, I'm it. mummy. Yes. No, you're not. You are. You're not. You're, you're daddy if you want to be daddy. You're not mummy. We're in a very weird place in society. Unheard of, really. Um, the media is trying so desperately to push this gender equality. The idea that men and women are the same. You see it here. A father can be a mother. He can do the role of a mother and a father. A mother can be a mother and a father. No, they can not. No, they cannot. Because men and women are different. Therefore, as parents, they bring different things to the table which are equally as valuable. Therefore, if one parent leaves and then the other parent has to pick up the slack and do both roles, the child is going to suffer. Because that one parent that's doing two roles cannot do it at the level of two parents doing two different roles it just can't because these two parents they bring something completely different to the table biologically and that's the point that these people do not want to recognize the biological differences between us that's why he's going for the younger girl that sees everything he's doing as <gasps> right oh my oh, god when the older yeah. woman ladies the only reason why you guys care about who a man's date is because you're not getting that man's attention anymore that's really all it is. Now you're jealous. Now you're feeling insecure because now that man has moved on and he's still dating that 25 year old and you're now 29. He can still date 25 year olds and you're just getting older in age and you're starting to notice, well, I don't get as much attention anymore because this is it. When you was a freshman in high school, you wanted to date a senior in high school and everyone praised you. You hyped yourself up. The girls hyped you up and nobody had a problem with it, but you weren't bashing men then. You, you like that dude. And what's crazy is you never learned your lesson in high school. So when you went to college, you repeated the same behavior. You're a freshman in college and you want it. You dreamed about that senior in college. You didn't have a problem then. But now that you're not, now that you're older in age, you're about to hit 30 and you're seeing that you're not getting as much attention as those young girls. Now you want to bash men.